on up on my squatch quad. <laughs> he may come up with a good one. I can't remember what it was. Something like that. Sorry, Ken. But I got a final on this. Final is it's going again. I'm, well, actually, uh, I didn't put a, any kind of top coat over it. I need a flat, needed a flat top coat, and I don't have any flat, clear. Future probably made it too shiny, and that matte finish I got it to have a little shine on it. I want it flat. Cause it's, it's dirt, I dirty it up, it's used. Uh, and the tracks are, the metal pieces on the track is all rusty. They're surface rust. And it's dirty. I don't know if you can tell down the side. This is the exhaust, and it's the, any diesel that's gonna have it sooty crap down the side, and that's what this is. Uh, you know, they've been out in the field. So. It's dirty, got a little, a little rust starting around the end of that barrel piece there. Uh, Hmm. You can't tell it, but these leather straps that hold them cans on, I paint them brown, and they kind of blend in with it. What's that other paint I paint on there? Uh, 50 cal, I, it's glued to the, the mount that holds it on, because one side was broke and I wasn't going. Full, trying to glue some little piece of styrene on there. And these hatches open. This the commander's cupola hatch, whatever. And driver's hatch open. I ain't going to open it all the way. There you go, but it does open. I had another hatch I wished I'd used right there. Oh well. And I see where all the hinges and bolts are, you just love to have a rust here and there. Oh, it's got mud dust and sand dust and this dust and that dust. And Rolling down the road, all this going to have dust all over. <laughs> or rolling down the field. I had dust all up through here. If it, it, it depends on if it's dry. If it's been raining, it's going to have mud all over. The front of it is dusty. I didn't paint those uh, blackout lights. The head, well, there's two headlights and and blackout drive lights. I ain't pulling them because these, I ain't gonna cover them up anyway. So. There's the extra pieces of track. Some of the parts on the instructions, they were, they were, uh, numbers were mixed up on them. Some parts wasn't even on the instruction, like these extra track, they weren't on there. Uh, the two water cans right here, they weren't on there. Uh, what else was it? There was something else wasn't on the instruction. Oh, what I didn't put on, which was the smoke. For the smoke canister, you drop down there and it launches them out at a 45 degree angle. I didn't put no of those on here. I had some on sprue, but they didn't show them on the instruction. And I had some other antenna looking things wasn't on the instruction. But these two right here, here and here, it's supposed to take a piece of melted sprue and stretch it and 
attach that, but I don't want to do that. I end up breaking them all. So. Uh, see, I want why I wanted a flat coat put over that. I got that mod podge matte coat, but that still got a lot of sheen to it. <sighs> bottom is just that nah, you don't need because then nobody will see it except for the bottom of the track are dusty and dirty and the edges are are rusty and inside the, the roll wheel and the suspension arms and all that a little rusty inside and <sighs> yeah. This A A6 later one of the later versions, they probably had a they had a eight or six B seventy one and V six Detroit. But now the older ones we had some most of the ones we had Fort Knox. They had six seventy ones in them. Straight six. Uh, it might have been one or two, like a A4, A5 version. I think they might have had six B71s in them. But this, wait a minute. All these hatches here, here, these two was were the extra track that mounted this. That it's all bolted down. You take unbolt all that, and all them hatches come off. You got to pull them off with a little M5 they recovery. It's got a little crane on it, or uh, M88 got a big old, big old crane of a thing. But lift all that off. You ain't gonna pick them up. I don't care. I mean, man, you get on there, you might pick some of them smaller ones up. But anyway, all that comes off to pull the pack. And the pack is the engine and the training all worn. And it's got quick disconnects on everything. You know, and disconnect all in. Some things may be bolted. It ain't too many. But you do all that and then you pull the whole pack out. It's made like that so you replace it in the field quick. Something wrong with that old, or you take that, put it on the ground, and fix whatever's wrong with it, and then put it back in, or or just replace the engine or whatever, transmission, whatever. Um, it's travel lock. Mm, I didn't get it exactly straight down the middle, but it's, it's close enough, and he's. Latches don't they don't go they should have went for more wrapped all the way around that barrel but there's no way of doing it I had to glue them right there so you see that gun ain't put, but it's straight enough why I think it's a it's a later version than an 85 anyway because they got these baskets on the older version we had they didn't have these and there might have been a couple other things that's different I don't think they had them either which is some part of the my siding I think or I don't know maybe a new version may have been some kind of Laser deal, I don't know. Laser siding system or something, I, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know because I don't. <laughs> I never had them, so. Like most of the siding stuff was inside of this. I don't know what we had. 
it's got that plate over to cover it all there, and I think that's what this is part of it. Uh, and yeah, it's got one big cargo personnel door back here, everybody, all the crew goes in and out, and plus you can load the shells in and out of there, and give them the empty, and you load in the new one, and whatever. Uh, oh, these go down, that's for you. Man, they ain't gonna go all the way. You can sink into the ground and, and, and she set somewhere. And that gun, that gun's gonna push you back and he's gonna keep pushing you back. <laughs> like spades, I guess, what they call them. Um, I guess they'd see it. Uh, and it's, uh, Joaquin, J-O-A-C-H-I-N. This, my buddy here, and another guy, which I can't remember his name, and I don't have a card of his. They're the ones putting on the artillery deal. Yeah. I thank you for letting me join in that. <laughs> oh, but that's it. Uh, now I did another video, uh, one video before this, and I changed my mind. I'm going to redo it, so. Alright, love y'all.